The long range all wheel drive Model 3 has been added officially back to the Tesla design studio. However, it has a range decrease over the previous version, which really indicates that there is a new battery, either battery size or battery type in this vehicle. Unfortunately, Tesla has not yet released details about what kind of battery pack is in this vehicle. However, there are a number of clues that can really help us determine some of the possible choices and some of the most likely battery types that are in this vehicle. And that's what I wanna do in this video. So stick around and we'll dive in. I'm John and this is Cleaner Watt. In August of last year, 2022, on Tesla's website, they stopped taking orders for the long range all wheel drive Model 3, and they added a note for that model that read available in 2023. Now the long range all wheel drive variant is once again orderable on the Tesla website, but curiously, um, with an estimated range of 325 plus miles, which is a substantial range decrease over the previous version, which offered an EPA estimated range of 358 miles. This has led to quite a bit of speculation in the Tesla community as to what kind of battery type is in this vehicle. Is it a lithium iron phosphate battery? Or is it one of CATL's new M3P batteries? Is it just uh, another version of 2170s? Well, before I dive into some of the more likely battery choices that Tesla could be using in this vehicle, I wanna talk about some of the most unlikely versions and ones we pretty much know for sure aren't the battery types being used in this vehicle due to one big clue, and that comes down to the IRA um, incentive for this vehicle. As a reminder, under the IRA program, electric vehicles can qualify for up to a $7,500 federal US tax credit. Of course, you have to have enough tax liability to get that credit, but nonetheless, half of that tax credit is tied to the sourcing of critical battery materials. For instance, for 2023, 40% of a battery's critical materials must be, quote, extracted or processed in the United States or a country with which the United States has a free trade agreement. The other half of that tax credit is tied to um, the actual battery pack itself or the battery components needing to be manufactured or assembled in North America. So a vehicle that only qualifies for one of those two tiers will only be eligible for a $3,750 uh, tax credit. For instance, like the rear wheel drive Model 3, which Tesla uses CATL batteries that come from China, lithium iron phosphate batteries from China, they import those in, they build the battery packs and put that in the rear wheel drive Model 3, thus it only qualifies for half of that tax credit because the battery pack itself is manufactured in the United States. However, the battery cells and the critical materials in those battery cells are not from um, the United States or a country that we have a free trade agreement with, thus it only qualifies for half of that tax credit. Interestingly enough, when Tesla added this new long range all wheel drive Model 3 to the design studio, they have a note here that says it only qualifies for $3,750 of the $7,500 tax credit, meaning that it does not have the same battery as their performance version of the Model 3. So once again, that tax credit rules out Nevada Panasonic made 2170 batteries. It also rules out Fremont or Texas built 4680 batteries. But what could it be? Could it be a lithium iron phosphate battery or something different? One theory that I haven't seen anyone bring up yet is the fact that there is a slight possibility, and I don't think there is a strong possibility of this, but I think it is worth mentioning. But I think there is a slight possibility that this vehicle could be equipped with either LG Energy Solution or Panasonic made 4680 battery cells. As you may already know, LG Energy Solution and Panasonic are both building out battery uh, manufacturing capacity to be able to build 4680 batteries for Tesla and maybe for some other customers. And these battery factories, while they're likely still being built, I think there is a small chance um, that LG Energy Solution has a factory actually almost ready or ready and building 4680 batteries 
right now. For example, according to this LG Energy Solutions press release from June of last year, when they officially announced that they were going to be building 4680 batteries at their Ocheng plant, they mentioned that this 4680 capacity and the additional uh, 2170 battery capacity they were adding to that facility. This press release stated, quote, the new and expanded production lines are scheduled to start full scale mass production in the second half of next year. So if LG Chem is on track, that would mean battery production, 4680 battery production could happen as soon as June of this year or anytime between June and December of this year. Now, very likely they haven't yet started mass production of 4680 batteries. However, there is a chance they're ahead of schedule and that they haven't officially announced that. Um, when it comes to Panasonic and the opening of their full scale 4680 battery production, according to a June 2022 Inside EVs article that mentioned uh, Panasonic's 4680 battery production plans, Panasonic is aiming for serious production of 4680 batteries at their Wakayama factory in Western Japan sometime in the fiscal year, which began April 1st of this year and goes through March 31st of next year. However, it's unclear how far along that expansion is and, and how close uh, Panasonic is to actually manufacturing. However, something in my mind that kind of squashes the possibility um, that Tesla is indeed using Panasonic or LG Energy Solution 4680 batteries in this vehicle comes down to the fact that Tesla is going to need quite a few 4680 batteries for the Cybertruck and that production should be happening sometime this summer. However, if Tesla does indeed need more 4680 batteries for the Cybertruck more than they can actually manufacture themselves. For instance, according to this electrive.com article, which was published in March of this year, it's rumored that Panasonic and LG Energy Solution are going to be supplying these 4680 battery cells for the Tesla Cybertruck. So since Tesla's 4680 battery production ramp has been slower than they expected, and they may have to rely on LG Energy Solution and Panasonic to help fill in the gaps, it wouldn't make sense for them to um, use 4680 batteries in the long range all wheel drive Model 3 just yet. Maybe sometime in the future, Tesla will move over to that, but I don't think that's very likely right now. So if this vehicle likely doesn't have 4680 batteries, could it have lithium iron phosphate batteries? If this vehicle does indeed have lithium iron phosphate batteries, which I'm doubtful that it does, but nonetheless, if it does have them, it's going to have to have a little bit different battery pack setup than the current rear wheel drive Model 3, obviously a larger battery pack, but a little bit different battery setup that has more energy density. For example, according to an official EPA document, the 2023 rear wheel drive Model 3's battery pack only has an energy density of 126 watt hours per kilogram. With a pack level energy density of 126 watt hours per kilogram, I don't believe Tesla would be able to squeeze enough battery in a long range all wheel drive uh, Model 3 to be able to get 325 plus miles out of that vehicle. And in order to get an estimate of what kind of pack level energy density would be required to be able to get that kind of range, all we need to do is go back to the 2020 Tesla Model 3 long range all wheel drive, which had an EPA estimated range of 322 miles, which is close to that 325 plus number that Tesla is estimating. And if once again, we go to an official EPA document for this 2020 long range all wheel drive Model 3, you can see here that the pack level energy density of this vehicle's battery pack is 150 watt hours per kilogram. Since the Model 3 is likely a bit more energy efficient than it was back in 2020 due to improvements to the powertrain, etc., I think it's very possible that because of this, we can estimate um, that the 2023 long range all wheel drive Model 3 very likely has a battery size that is somewhere close to what the vehicle had back in 2020 when it comes to kilowatt hours, which the 2020 Model 3 had an estimated battery pack size of 75 kilowatt hours. So we could deduce that it's possible that this new version also has a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, meaning that the pack level energy density would likely need to be somewhere around 150 watt hours per kilogram to make that happen. Going from 126 watt hours per kilogram to 150 plus watt hours per kilogram for a battery pack energy density, however, is possible due to um, CATL's new cell to pack 3.0 uh, battery technology, because according to a press release, which they put out on June 23rd of 2022, quote, the CTP 3.0 battery can increase the energy density to 255 watt hours per kilogram for ternary battery systems and 160 watt hours per kilogram for LFP 
battery systems. So if Tesla is using CATL's cell to pack 3.0 technology in this vehicle, that should allow them to get to the specific energy density that would be required to hit on this kind of range in this vehicle. However, there is a big clue, and this is something that other people have pointed out. Um, there is a big clue that points us to the fact that very likely this battery is not a lithium iron phosphate battery, and that comes down to performance. In 2021, when the Standard Range Plus uh, rear-wheel drive Model 3 was equipped with Panasonic 2170 battery cells, Tesla listed the 0 to 60 mile per hour time for that vehicle at 5.3 seconds. However, now the rear-wheel drive Tesla Model 3 equipped with CATL lithium iron phosphate batteries, that vehicle has a stated 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 5.8 seconds, so somewhere around a half second slower than before. Because of this, if this new long range all wheel drive uh, Model 3 variant did have lithium iron phosphate batteries, I would expect that the zero to 60 mile per hour time would be slower than before. However, Tesla still lists the zero to 60 mile per hour time for this vehicle at 4.2 seconds, which is the same as the previous long range all wheel drive version that had 358 miles of range. So in my opinion, like others have pointed out, I don't believe that this vehicle is equipped with lithium iron phosphate batteries. Okay, if it's not lithium iron phosphate batteries, what about CATL's new M3P batteries? This is also something that I've seen other people discuss as well. And I think there is a very small possibility of this, but we don't know enough about these batteries to really determine if this is a possibility yet. I did do a video talking about these M3P batteries, and I'll link to that in the video description. However, as I talked about in that video, according to previous reports, it was rumored that CATL would be supplying these M3P batteries to Tesla. And in addition, Bloomberg recently reported that uh, Tesla might be trying to license battery technology from CATL for a new battery factory that they would build um, in possibly Texas in the United States, but possibly Texas. And it's possible that maybe um, they would license M3P battery technology from CATL and build that locally. But for now, they would use these batteries manufactured by CATL. As a reminder, these new M3P batteries from CATL should be a little bit more energy dense than a lithium iron phosphate battery. So that could also be one explanation for making this 325 plus mile range possible. However, after researching out this topic, it appears like the most likely battery type that Tesla is using in this vehicle. And the fact is that Tesla is very likely just using LG Energy Solution 2170 battery cells in this new long range all wheel drive Model 3 instead of Panasonic made 2170 battery cells. This is a possibility that Tesla economist recently brought up in a video on his YouTube channel. But in my opinion, it does appear like just as Tesla uses 2170 batteries manufactured by LG Energy Solutions um, in the, for instance, performance Model 3 manufactured in China, I believe Tesla could be using those same batteries in their US made long range all wheel drive Model 3. And uh, for instance, according to evdatabase.org, these battery packs have a usable capacity of 75 kilowatt hours and a total battery pack size of 78.1 kilowatt hours. That's for that uh, performance Model 3 that's built in China. As a reminder, the previous long range all wheel drive Model 3 had an estimated battery pack size of 82 kilowatt hours total, not usable, but the total battery capacity usable will be a little bit less than that. So this battery pack made with LG Energy Solution 2170 battery cells would have a bit less capacity, which would explain a range drop. And it's possible when we actually get the EPA range for this vehicle, it could be a little bit more than 325. Tesla has just listed this at 325 plus miles for their estimate, but the EPA range could be a little bit greater than that. So as you can see, these LG Energy Solution 2170 batteries seem to be the most logical solution to this, and it seems to fit the clues that we have. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I wanna say once again, a special thank you to all of those of you who support me on Patreon. Your support really does make a big difference and helps make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up and how you can support my work, I'll put a link to that in the video description. Thank you so much.